joined now by John Poole. What's your position with the Illinois Shakespeare Festival? Hi, Casey. Uh, yeah, I'm the uh, managing director for the Illinois Shakespeare Festival. And uh, basically my job is to handle the, uh, the spreadsheets, the, the, the fiscal end, if you will, as opposed to the artistic end. That is Kevin Rich's job as artistic director. And where is the festival going to be held at? The festival is being held in Bloomington, Illinois. It's been at the Ewing Cultural Center uh, for the past uh, 38 years. This is our 38th season at the Ewing Cultural Center. And how did it all come about? The festival came about in 19... Well, we started in 1978, uh, but the at, at that time, the department chair of the theater department at ISU... Um, decided it would be a great idea to have a Shakespeare festival once uh, once he found out Hazel Buck Ewing had uh, bequeathed in her will the Ewing uh, Center to Illinois State University Foundation. And he went out there and he saw the architecture, which looks very um, uh, Elizabethan, I think with Norman Channel, but uh, very Elizabethan in nature. And he thought this is the perfect atmosphere to put on a, a festival, a Shakespeare festival. And so they put up a temporary um, stage on the old tennis court, and um, that temporary stage lasted about 20 years. Uh, then we built a more formal um, theater building, which looks exactly like the same architectural style as you can cultural center. It's quite beautiful. And what can people do to become a member? I know that you can and, and kind of show support to your group. Absolutely. Well, there's a lot of information you can find out about the Illinois Shakespeare Festival if you go to thefestival.org. And there you could, uh, if you would like to show your support for the Shakespeare Festival, uh, by going to our membership and support page. Um, and we're always um, deeply appreciative of that. And, you know, tax uh, donations are 100% tax deductible. And, uh, you get all kinds of things of that, like uh, free non-alcoholic free preferential parking, premium parking. Uh, parking is free. Um, um, and uh, also, if you go to our website, you can see uh, all the shows that we are doing this season, as well as get tickets. And how how did they get those tickets exactly? Are they all through the online? Or is yes. there a ticket office they can call? Uh, yeah. Um, what you can do is there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can go to our website again, thefestival.org, and click the ticket page. Or you could also go online to Ticketmaster. And if you go to Ticketmaster, you simply look up the Illinois Shakespeare Festival, and you can see the listing for uh, our production there. Uh, but if you're feeling uncomfortable doing either one of those, just call 309-438-2535 and we'll get our box off. And the, the interesting thing to me is I'm, I'm a huge concert goer. I probably go to 50 concerts a year. Your parking is free. I don't see this anywhere. Oh, man, it, we're very fortunate. We have contracted with the St. John's Church um, to allow us to pay for the parking on behalf of the patrons. So you can simply come to the festival, park right across the street, and uh, walk under the grounds for free. I think it's important to share with your listeners, too, that um, the festival is a huge event. You can come out, um, maybe bring a bottle of wine and a picnic. Uh, we do all kinds of events out there. And, and if you want to see a Shakespeare show, then, of course, you can do that. But you don't have to pay to get into the grounds. So we do, like, concert series, live music in the courtyard before the show. So there's a lot to do out here even if you don't want to see a play. Well, Mr. Poole, I thank you so much for coming on with us today. You shared some fantastic information for our listeners. Casey, thank you very much. All right. I appreciate the opportunity to share this with you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.